What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are unboxing a PlayStation 5. All right, so the console's a little big to fit on the camera right now, but we're gonna be unboxing this PlayStation 5. I finally was able to get my hands on one. So we're gonna open this up and hook it up and uh, let's uh, see how this goes. Let's do this. It's not getting your head though. No, it, it's fine. <laughs> it's a big, box uh, yeah it's a really big box um it's been what two years now since the playstation 5 released so what's yeah, finally it has, it. has came out in 2020 been two years it's been two years since the release i passed on getting it day one i ended up getting an xbox and now we're finally got the PlayStation 5. I'm happy to get it with the God of War bundle because that'll be the game I'll be playing day one. We got the controller right here. We got the manuals, but I mean, who reads these, right? Um, CIB. CIB though. Oh, we got the kickstand for the thing for the console. That's like a whole box. All right, and we got HDMI. There we go. I guess time for the big reveal. The literal big reveal. The literal big reveal. This thing's a monster. The game, unfortunately, it is a digital download, ah. which really sucks. For now, all digital will have to do. PlayStation 5. Let's get this thing out. I even have the shirt to, you know, celebrate the occasion. There we go. This thing is about almost the size of my arm. Literally all the way up to here, this is crazy. So we got our USB input there, power buttons I'm assuming, this goes in here. Let's open up the controller. So then this is our controller. This I think, for me, this is really the, my favorite thing about the console is the controller. It is, my wife is holding it right now. Oh, it just goes there. Okay, cool. It has like a rubber, it has a, a rubber grip here. So it grips the console there so it doesn't slide. So that's how that works. And then I don't know what this is for. Maybe the controller, maybe, I don't know. You have that ethernet cable, HDMI. You have two USB ports in the back as well. And then you have the power cable as well. So this thing is great, it's a beast. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go plug it in, set it up. All right guys, so I've connected the PS5. I'll show y'all how it looks. This is where it is right now. Now this stuff is um, it's subject to change. Um, but right now I have it right next to my Sony OLED. As we can see right here, it looks good. Obviously it was never gonna fit into these squares. Here's my PS4, it's officially been unplugged. There's my little dog, Toby. It's officially been unplugged. I will be putting this back into its original packaging. For now, I'll just leave it there. Just because, um, I mean why not? I don't wanna leave an empty space. So I think for now, I will just leave the PS4 as is. It, it does look nice with the white and black, but here is the famous PS5. All right, so we're gonna be turning this thing on now. All right, so we're gonna turn it on, whatever update it needs to do, connect it to the internet, the whole spiel, right? All right, let's do that. All right.
All right, that, that was uh, pretty cool. All right, so while it downloads, um, I guess I could talk a little bit about why now I'm getting a PS5. I feel like now is a good time to get into the new generation of consoles. Um, I do admit that when I went and got the Xbox Series S, because I do have an S, it's right here. Right there. I do admit that when I got that, it was a little rushed. Um, I was bought into Game Pass and what it worked, but things haven't really worked out on the Xbox side, at least for me personally. Um, I look at PlayStation and at least they have some exciting games coming in the future. Um, I'm still keeping the Xbox for Starfield next year. I'm excited for that. But I do um, feel that now, um, it took a while for PlayStation to get going, but I do feel that the games are starting to come. There is an exciting roadmap uh, next year and moving forward. So I think it is a good time to jump in. And also, I do feel that um, you shouldn't have to pay uh, scalper prices to get a console. And I did want to get it when it came out. It was impossible to get one. And because of that reason, I did lose motivation in getting a PlayStation 5 early. So I decided to wait. And I waited for a while. <laughs> We're at the end of 2022. So it's about two years since the console released. And we're finally starting to see uh, stock, at least in my area. I live in South Florida. So I've been to GameStops, I've seen them. I've been to, to, to Best Buy as Walmart, they have them on their website. So um, yeah, they're, they're finally in stock and available for, for you to be able to buy it at the MSRP price. So I think it is a good time to, 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 to dive in and I'm excited. I have a, a lot of good games that, I'm gonna, that I have got um, through the Black Friday deals and just through trades that I am excited to try out. So um, that is why. All right, guys, let's keep going. Wow. And so, so far, this is a great little, I love the hub menu. It's great. And we are sad guys. I say, let's just start downloading God of War and get ready to play this sucker. All right. Alright guys, so this was my PlayStation 5 unboxing. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll try to do a follow-up video in the future. We'll see where this goes, but I'm excited to try this console out. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. See you later.